we're going to be talking about essentially understanding slope-intercept form. Um, prior In prior lessons, you've learned about direct proportion, and those values have always started at the origin and have increased at a steady rate. Uh, here's one example where we have y equals x. You have had other examples where that slope has been different, so really you've been dealing with y equals mx. And again, remember that M stands for your slope. What we're going to be focusing on now is a similar idea, except that we're going to add a new element, and that is the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is represented by the letter B in our equation y equals mx plus B. I'm not sure why it starts with B. I'm sure it had to do with something Greek. All right, so back to these two lines. You'll notice they have the same slope, except one line starts out four units higher. Now, in this case, it might be kind of easy to figure out. You can look at the slope. Well, you have a rise, of, rise and run of 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1. So it might be easy to find the slope there. But what happens when you have a line that's really not that easy to figure out? First thing we're going to do is write an equation in slope-intercept form using a graph. What I would do here is take a look at the graph and try and find two points where the x and the y intercepts or the x and the y coordinates generally cross over whole numbers because that makes the math a little easier. It looks like I have two points here and here. So that to me says 0, 4 and 6, negative 1 are my two points. Now, as I look at this line, I see that it's going to be a negative slope. So right away I know if my answer isn't negative, I've done something incorrectly. So we're going to go back to our slope formula, change in y over change in x, rise over run. We have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in what I know. Um, let's make this x sub 1, y sub 1. This x sub 2, y sub 2. So I have negative 1 minus 4 over 6 minus 0. So I have negative 5 over 6. That's cool. I have a negative slope. I'm pretty sure that's going to be right. So I'm writing an equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So here, I already found the slope. So I can rewrite this as y equals negative 5 6 x plus b. But what I need to do now is find the y-intercept. In this case, the y-intercept was one of my points. I can see it crosses through the y-axis when y equals 4. So I can go ahead and substitute that value in positive 4, and I've written an equation in slope-intercept form using a graph. Well, how about if you're not given a graph? In this case, I think it's even easier because you don't have to guess at some points. You can go ahead and use values that already exist. And the first thing you want to do, again, is find the slope. So here I'm going to have x sub 1, y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2. So I have negative 1 minus 2 over 3 minus 0. So in this case I have 1, negative 1 minus 2 is a negative 3 over 3. So I can simplify that to negative 1. So my slope is negative 1. So y equals negative 1x plus b. Now what I need to do is go ahead and find the y-intercept. I don't have the graph to look at. There is a hint up there that tells you what the y-intercept is going to be, but let's pretend we don't know. I don't know what the y-intercept is going to be. But I do have two points, two xy points, that I can plug into my formula to figure out what it could be, since I have a y, a y, an x, and an x. So I can go ahead and plug those values in. So 2 
then equals negative 1 times the x-coordinate here, which is 0, plus b. And then I'm going to go ahead and solve for b. So I have 2 equals negative 1 times 0, well, that's 0, plus b. Oh, 2 equals b. Groovy. So that tells me my y-intercept is 2, which, if you were paying attention, could have been had by this coordinate because, you know, if x equals 0, that means my line is on the y-coordinate, which means it's 2. So then what I'm going to go ahead and do is plug in that value of 2, and I have my equation in the form y equals mx plus b, also known as slope-intercept form y equals negative 1x plus 2. And that is all.